The Bridge Prize presents an important opportunity for Canadian post-secondary students to enter a prestigious competition for writing in this country. Celebrating short fiction writing at the post-secondary level motivates aspiring writers and gives them an idea of what it might be like to turn this idea into a profession. The winning entry stood out as an endearing story of grief and father-child relationship. Also talked a bit about the blight of gentrification. It was a story that I know I'm going to remember for a long time and one that the jury unanimously agreed upon. From 340 submissions from across Canada, representing 61 post-secondary institutions in nine provinces, our main jury selected a winner, Ms. Sarah DeWall of the University of British Columbia. I'm thrilled to congratulate Sarah for her lovely and moving story, Cecilia and Richard. I think entering the Bridge Prize for me was more of a dare to myself than anything. Uh, I think there's a lot of writers who feel like the first mark on the page is like this big risk. Before that, you, you think your idea is gonna be the best idea you've ever had. And then uh, there's a joke with my friend, we often say, my artist friend, that, um, that the best ideas we've ever had are the ones we've never we've never done, we've never started, because there's that fear of making the first mark. But when I set out to write uh, this story, I was working on my thesis, doing a Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing at UBC, and I had to get over the fear of, of the first mark on the page, or I would have never uh, come towards this point where I'm close to graduating. And uh, but what I found actually more difficult than making that first mark and starting the story was the fear of the final draft. Um, as long as you're not finished a draft, you can make all of these excuses. You can say, oh yeah, it, it's not good, but it will be good when I'm finished. Um, or yeah, I'm still working on it, but it's gonna be awesome. And you can hold on to some of that that initial kind of idea magic and that feeling of it's gonna be really good one day. Um, and because of that fear of the final draft, though I had heard about the Bridge Prize quite a bit earlier, I actually didn't submit to the Bridge Prize until the last day and probably about half an hour be before the deadline um, because I was still kind of trying to finesse it and I didn't wanna to commit to that finality. So, but in the end, the choice to submit was uh, the choice to say, no, like, I, I am going to do this. I am going to say, maybe this isn't perfect, but it's ready to, to try itself out in the world. 